Thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. My name is Cliff and I'm making a series of videos. I call them 99 Problems But My God Ain't One. Um, this one is going to be called number 50 and I'm going to number this or label this Education and Media. Okay. Uh, what I want to talk about here is the, the most deceiving part, or one of the most deceiving part. I already said <laughs> the most deceiving part is our use of money or the reason or how we use money. The, the deceit behind money as well. But this one is way up there on the list too. Uh, our education. Our education basically is controlled by the power elite, which in turn is controlled by the enemy, Satan. And uh, I don't know why, but uh, the enemy has been able to teach us that as time goes on, um, man gets wiser when it's completely the opposite. Um, it was noted in the Bible uh, from the beginning that we would return to the days of Noah, which means that we would be more corrupt than ever before. If we are in the days of Noah, which uh, many of us Christians believe, uh, we have become the worst ever, which it has to mean that, that God is more upset with us than uh, man in all of its its existence, all of our existence, the Lord is, is most corrupt or most upset with us. Um, so that must mean that we are, we as people are, are more foolish than, than ever before. And I believe that to be the case. In the Bible it says, um, in the last days, uh, the laws would be changed, and this is this is going straight along with, um, say, the gay agenda or the homosexual agenda, for a, a law that has been that has been gone that has gone one way for uh, three thousand years, uh, and all of a sudden it's flipped over. In each and every country, in in maybe the last ten years, uh, and this year being um, a big push as well. This these things, you, if you cannot see these things uh, playing out and right in front of your eyes, uh, you you must be blind, and also. Um, the agenda of of how we treat each other. We we're killers. We're murderers. We go out and kill one uh, a person from one country for uh, for our own beliefs in another country. It doesn't make any sense as well. And we condone these things by not taking action against them. Um, so we are actually at fault and on every level uh, they don't have to change the law and say that you cannot kill or whatever they just do it anyway so wh whether the law is there that you can kill or not kill um, it, it it's going on like it's it's a written law that you can okay now when you look at education or the same thing, media. These are the things that we learn from. Our television is a polluted uh, device that the enemy has used to control us. And for non-believers, they don't. It's hard for them to uh, to consider that a group of people would get all together and orchestrate all these things from behind closed doors 
in, in a fashion like that they think all on the same page. The one world government is the, the main stage and this is orchestrated out, out of the League of Nations or in other words the United Nations what they call themselves now. Um, the United Nations is basically the one world government and the the controlling class of the the United Nations are is the team that wants things to work as Satan wants them to work. Um, there is a war agenda that is is being played out right now in front of our eyes and they want you to believe that it's coming in slowly. This is how they use the media to let you know things that they want you to know. Not, the, not that they are all true facts, but they want you to believe in them. Satan is in control of all, all parts of our lives, each and every one. He's the head of the class. And um, education. When you see that the the fact that um, the system is controlled by government, that's when you should be frightened. The government is Satan's number one um, control system. Government and behind government is the banking system. So if the education is controlled by the government. You know it's controlled by the, the Satan himself as well. Basically, th this education system that we're in is teaching us how to work for the elite, the controlling class. Uh, they teach us what they want us to know to do their work or work for them. Um, this is where uh, we pay taxes to them and they use our tax money to do whatever it is they want to build or orchestrate. Um, if it has government behind it, like I said earlier, uh, you should be wary of it. Freedom of speech is gone. You can't speak out like I am right now. I'm going to be, I'm putting myself at risk right now because I'm sure they, at this point, at some point, Maybe not this point, but at some point, they're going to want to stop me from speaking out. If too many people get aware uh, what I'm saying or what I'm trying to show you. Um, remember, we're speaking of the controller of the world or the prince of darkness, the master of lies. He doesn't care about um, which lie you believe just so you don't believe the truth or you don't hear about the truth that's all that's important to Satan uh, the more you can believe in his system the easier it is for you to be caught up and be a part of his system the things that he wants the things of the world every broadcast or television station is controlled by um, the elite. Basically all the stuff that you hear about, even the weather, comes from one central organization. Uh, yeah, the weatherman in your city or your location uh, gets their information from the same one as, as the one um, in another part of, of the country, maybe 2,000, 3,000 miles away. If your country's that big, like the Canada and the United States. So, they're not really doing any work. They're actually just listening to uh, the, the puppet masters tell them what to say and what to do. It's the nicest and coziest kind of work there is. They get paid well to do their devious things that control um, a highly populated area. 
and this is what they want or this is what makes things easier for them uh, television and schools watch this clip school is a habit training mechanism schooling is a form of adoption you give your kid away at his most or his or her most in plastic ears to a group of strangers you accept a promise sometimes stated and more often implied that the state to its agents knows better how to raise your children and educate them than you, your neighbors, your grandparents, your, 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 your local traditions do. And that your kid will be better off so adopted. By the time the child returns to the family or has the option of doing that, very few want to. Their parents are some form of friendly stranger too, and why not? in the key hours of growing up. Strangers have reared the kid. Now let's look at the strangers of which you were one and I was one. Regardless of our good feeling toward children, regardless of our individual talents or intelligence, we have so little time each day with each of these kids, we can't possibly know enough vital information about that particular kid to tailor a set of exercises to that kid. Oh, some of us, you know, will try more than others, but there simply isn't any time to do it to a significant degree. So what we do is accept, and of course if we don't accept this, we're fired or harassed. We accept a state's prescription that's written in manuals. You do this first and this second and this third and here you have a little attitude to talk to the kids. And the way the state checks on whether you've followed that diet is there's standardized tests given at intervals. If your kids do badly it does not mean that they're bad readers or anything else. It means that they haven't been obedient to the drills the state set down and they're marked for further treatment later on or they're marked to be excluded from responsible jobs. Perhaps some ways by being excluded from the colleges that lead to responsible jobs, in other ways from the licenses that lead to responsible jobs. This was all worked out. It didn't evolve by a lot of rational people saying we'll take this, this, and this from the past then the next generation will take this, this, and this. This was set down largely in a handful of places. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, we all know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, well, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, we all know the rest of it, right? I scream, you scream, well, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, and you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, well, you know the rest. Well, I scream, you scream, well, I think you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, and everybody knows the rest. I scream, you scream. Oh, well, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. I scream, you scream, and you know the rest. I scream, you scream, you know the rest. A day on the retail calendar that can be enjoyed from a desk or the couch. Enjoyed from a desk or a couch. Enjoyed from a desk or maybe the couch. Enjoyed from a desk or the couch. Enjoyed from a desk or the couch. Enjoyed from the desk or even the couch. Enjoyed from a desk or the couch. From a desk or the couch. From a desk. Or the couch. From a desk or a couch. It's from a desk or your couch. From the desk or the couch. From your desk or the couch. From a desk or the couch. From a desk or a couch. From your desk or the couch. From a desk or the couch. From a desk or couch. From a desk or the couch. From a desk or even the couch. From a desk or the couch. Joy from a desk or a couch. From a desk or the couch. From a desk or the couch.